Hey, Jason Browse here from Browse Blades. I'm going to do a video to sh introduce our new sharpening system. Um, the type of grinders that this sharpening system will work on, um, it'll work on the Wilmot, it'll work on a KMG, it'll work on a batter, it'll work on basically any kind of grinder that has an arm similar to this. So what you want to do is get an arm and you want to get a wheel. It doesn't have to be serrated, it could be flat, it could be 8 inch, it could be 12 inch, it doesn't really matter because technically we're not going to be using the wheel, um, but we need the setup of the wheel. So basically the kit comes with a piece that looks like this, another piece that looks like this, and finally this. So basically what you're going to need to do is put this piece on top of the arm here. It comes with two slots that are milled out here. So basically you can permanently mark out holes, drill them into this piece here, and you will permanently have a screw to take this on and off. Um, another way that I like to do it, um, you can use clamps. So you can clamp here and here once you get it dialed in. So I'm going to go ahead and put the belt on and then I will show you guys how to clamp the system uh, onto the grinder. Okay, so now we have the belt on the grinder. Now I'm going to show you how to connect all the pieces. Take the uh, the main piece here, you get it lined up, you get it close to the wheel as possible so you're lined up here, and then you want to bring it back. Notice how the angle of this does not match the belt. So what we do is we have an Allen screw here. So we can loosen up that screw, angle this plate to match. the angle. Tighten it up. Okay, so now that you have located your position, the angle here to match there, you want to get it real close to the belt, just barely touching it, close to the wheel but not touching it. You want to line it up as best you can. Then take your vice grips, clamp down. Okay? You don't need to clamp down too hard just to make sure it doesn't move. You're not going to be putting any forceful pressure on here. So then you take the next piece and you screw it down in on the threads here. Depending on what grinder you have and what angle you're at here, you're going to need to mess with the height of this. You're going to need to figure out which angle you need to put a sharpened edge on your knife. You want to angle this up 90 degrees to here. Now you take this piece, you put your knife inside, and what you want to do is you want to take this angle here and match it up to the angle on the knife as close as possible. Once you have that angle, tighten down the Allen screw does not need to be too tight and there you go so now we are completely set up here with our jig with our knife in the fixture so now you have two bolts here and this is going to take some playing around with depending on what your angle is here on how deep you want these. This is already predetermined. I'm at a 20 degree angle. 
So what you want to do is put the end of this rod in between here. So you're making contact with the bolts. So now you have a perfect angle with the belt. So when the belt's going, all you do is you drag the knife over. Go in the other side, drag the knife over. And you just keep doing that until you get a burr. Now I'll show you how to do it. Make sure your speeds are slow and your belt is new because you don't want to heat up that edge. Here we go. Notice my knife is not making contact with this. Ideally, you want it right below that edge there. As you're going back and forth with the knife, you want to make sure you're pushing back this way so you're always making contact with this part here. Okay, you can kind of see that edge there forming. As her car pulls out the driveway And she don't wave goodbye Her last words echo in my mind Listen honey, I gotta get away Standing here watching her tail light As if there's some kind of sign I just got tired of trying So long, I hate to see you go So I save my tears for later on down the road How come, I keep on holding on Knowing you won't be coming home Later, I get a letter A picture of a room in some hotel Sitting framed up on the table A picture I know so well You painted yourself into a corner Now you're trying to paint something new Your lipstick on the letter is a goodbye kiss from you.